Hello, hello, and welcome back. Today, I'll be covering all the helmets in Stalker Anomaly and its mod packs, including EFP and Gamma. If you found this video useful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for future content. If you have any questions, come join me when I'm live on Twitch, link is in the description. The main use for helmets in Stalker is to provide radiation protection, as armors don't really have much protection for it. Therefore, if you see me rate a helmet better than another despite having no ballistic protection, it's because I value rad resistance higher. I'll be going through all 21 helmets in the game in order of repair type and from worst to best within those types. Starting with the light armor is the balaclava. This is by far the most useless helmet in the game and is basically like wearing nothing. It provides almost no protection and therefore has no use. The best use for it is to roleplay as a bandit. The bandana is exactly the same as the balaclava, except for the fact that it can be used as a supportive material for repairing armor and it provides a pretty decent bonus. But apart from that, it's still pretty useless for a helmet. The cloth mask has the worst stats for any helmet in the game, but the reason I have ranked it so highly is like the bandana, it can be used as a supportive material for repairing armors and weapons. I always recommend picking up cloth masks whenever you find them as they're extremely useful when it comes to repairing any item. The respirator is the first helmet with actual protection, though barely any. It provides radiation protection, but not much. It's definitely better than nothing, but should be replaced as soon as possible. Also, helmets from now on will have a glass overlay which will become more cracked when damaged and collects raindrops when raining. The first helmet with ballistic protection is the surplus steel helmet. This helmet trades off radiation protection for the protection against bullets. Like said at the start of the video, helmets are mainly for radiation protection, so that is why I rate this helmet so low. There are two PBF gas masks, one with two eye holes and one with one combined eye hole. The two eye hold one has slightly more radiation resistance than the respirator, and the one eye hold one has slightly more radiation protection than the two eye hold. Neither mask have ballistic protection, however. The last light helmet is the GP5. Out of all the light helmets, this one has the most radiation protection, but it still isn't that good overall. Again, being a gas mask, this helmet doesn't have any ballistic resistance. On to medium helmets now, and the worst is the ACH7. This helmet has no radiation resistance, but has okay ballistic resistance. An interesting feature about this helmet is the highest side protection out of all the medium helmets, so I guess it's not that bad to take down to the Miracle Machine. The M40 is another typical gas mask. Good radiation resistance, but no ballistic protection. Same with the PPM, but the PPM has slightly more radiation protection. The ACH7EX is the same as the ACH7, but with a built-in gas mask. This means that you get all the benefits from the 7, like good ballistic and psi resistance, but also get decent radiation resistance. This is the first all-round helmet and decent option. The SSP helmet is probably the best medium helmet. It does have a bit less ballistic than the ACH7EX, but makes up for it by almost having double the radiation protection. In my opinion, the extra rad resistance outweighs the loss of ballistic and makes it my go-to medium helmet. Onto the heavy helmets now, and first is the sphere helmet, another all-rounder. It is the worst of the heavy helmets, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It provides okay rad resistance and okay ballistic resistance. It's a decent helmet, but maybe not worth the heavy kit. An upgrade from the Sphere 8 is the Sphere M12, with overall slightly better stats than the Sphere 08. The M50Z is primarily a gas mask, as it has very high radiation resistance with little ballistic. Like I said earlier, I rank these types of helmets higher, as helmets are mainly used for radiation resistance. Similar to the M50 is the GP10Z. Every stat is better, except for ballistic resistance which is the same. Again, for a helmet, this is fine. It is also important to note that this helmet has the highest psi resistance out of all the helmets. The last and best helmet for the heavy tier is the Apocalypse helmet. This helmet boasts very high ballistic resistance, which I know I didn't say is a helmet's purpose, but it also has okay rad res, but you would mainly use this helmet for bullet protection. Last category is the exo helmets which, by the way, unlike the name, does not require batteries like the Exoskeleton. There are only two Exo-class helmets, the Exo-Helm and the Spartan. Both are very good at having great ballistic, radiation and psi resistance. But out of the two, the Spartan is better. In fact, the Spartan has the best ballistic and psi res of the whole game, making it the best helmet. So that was all the helmets in Stalker Anomaly. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for future content. If you have any questions, come join me when I'm live on Twitch, link is in the description. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.